Es ist der 15. November 2014. Wir sind hier in Köln in den Balloni-Hallen und äh, ich bin hier für einen wunderschönen Abend mit Sicherheit mit einem der größten Rocklegenden der Welt, äh, Legendary Billy Idol. Hello, good evening. Hey little sister, what have you done? Hey little sister, who's your only one? Hey little sister, shotgun. Hey little sister, who's your superman? Hey little sister, shotgun. Oh, it's a nice day to start again. Come on, it's a nice day for a white wedding. What does it mean to you to play in Germany again? Well, it's very exciting. Uh, this is one of the greatest places for rock and roll. The audience loves rock and roll music. What's the difference to be to to do like a heavy electric show and and do it like a small acoustic thing? Um, I think it's just, uh, it's the nature of it, it's, it's more intimate, uh, I think there's a, an emphasis on the lyrics a little bit more and, uh, and it's fun I think for people to see uh, Steve Stevens is just as dynamic on an acoustic guitar. You are here tonight and you hear these sounds, we are still kings and queens of the underground. I don't mean to be profound, but if I'm still around, we are still kings and queens of the underground. You sort of reach a point where suddenly uh, you realise quite a long time has passed and a lot of things have happened, And uh, but also too you get to a point where suddenly you can sort of, you get to a vantage point really, you get to a point where you suddenly can see backwards and kind of you're in a place where you can quantify what happened. This is chapter five, and it's called And Then There Was Punk, 100 Club, The Oxford Street, London. Get back to London, the faithful postcard from Steve Bailey read. I took the train as soon as I could, and on March 30th, 1976, at the 100 Club on London's Oxford Street, I saw the Sex Pistols play for the first time. The first time in, uh, uh, of a public reading, how does it feel for you? Are you especially nervous of, uh, before that? Well, uh, you always have a little, sort of more adrenaline or something uh, when you're going to do a performance. But yeah, uh, it's, it is exciting to, uh, to read the book out, especially for the first time. And at a later date, I was on hand when they introduced Anarchy in the UK with the initial rolling bass riff and pounding drums as Johnny snarled I am an antichrist, I am an anarchist. Don't know what I want, but I know how to get it. I want to destroy the passerby. It was a long overdue call to arms. Yeah! <laughs> is there any story that you ever, uh, ever lived through? Is, is, isn't it a book or can we expect Dancing With Myself to the revenge or something like that? Well, there was, yes, I mean, the manuscript for this book was 198,000 words and there's only about 80,000 in this, so you could probably colour a whole other book from it. But, you know, things come back to me, so maybe there will be a book too, I don't know. We're looking forward. Okay, this is Billy Idol playing acoustic and uh, tell, tell us about his life. Thank you very much. Enjoy. I said, what should you free? I'm going to do me, baby. What should I free? I need you here by me because. Dass man ihm so nah erleben konnte, anfassen, zum Anfassen nah. Ja, ich fand's toll. Also er hat immer noch eine gute Stimme und ähm, ja, war super. Schöne Atmosphäre, richtig geile Location und so, okay, was willst du machen? Ne, da bist du dabei. Dass es einfach nicht so viele waren. Nicht so eine Masse. Es ist so ein bisschen heimeliger. Waren Sie schon mal so nah an Ihrem Doppelgänger? Nein, an meinem Doppelgänger. <lacht> Nein, noch nicht. Also, das war echt extrem geil, die Location. Do you feel alright? I feel alright. Do you feel alright? 